Hey everybody, Creepy Girl here with some new movie reviews. My first two movie reviews are Laid to Rest and Chrome Skull Laid to Rest Part 2. The first one, Laid to Rest, a movie I saw a while ago and I loved it. It was a total gore fest had the best special effects and it wasn't like a high budget film or anything it had just the coolest kills in it and great special effects the plot was simple girl gets away from killer killer tries to get girl everyone that helps girl gets killed along the way but basic plot great movie gave that movie a 9 out of 10 just because it was something that was different from what was out there and it was one of those movies I just saw on the shelf I never even heard of it and I picked it up and I was so happy I got it so that's why I gave that one such a high rating just really great special effects and just a basic plot the second one Chrome Skull Laid to Rest Part 2 again awesome kills awesome kills it's I don't know who does the special effects for these movies but seriously um, you can tell that they pay attention to a lot of detail I mean they make it look so realistic I mean to me that's the best part of art when it comes to special effects is how real does it look do I believe it's really happening and in those two movies I really do I mean it really looks like it's happening and that's what makes it so gore-tastic. Um, Late to Rest 2, uh, I'm going to give that one a 7. And the only reason why I rated that a little lower was because they tried to put this kind of crazy storyline in it and the storyline really didn't work for me. But I'm still glad I watched it because I loved the gore. I love the special effects. It was superb. Okay, the next movie I'm going to review is called Grave Encounters. I saw this on pay-per-view. Um, it was kind of like a paranormal type filmed movie where, you know, it looks like the people are actually, you know, filming it. Not, um, you know, like a real movie, just kind of jumpy cameras and stuff. Um, I like this movie because it had a really cool kind of storyline. I watch Ghost Hunters, one of my favorite shows, and this movie is basically about a show like that, but the people that are doing the show, they're very skeptical, and it's kind of hard to believe they are doing the show because it seems as if they totally do not believe in ghosts. And they're just like, well, we'll just make up stuff to make it look like there's ghosts. And of course, they go into this insane asylum, and they really do encounter ghosts. And um, it was pretty spooky. I, I thought it was a very spooky film and had, you know, quite a few scares in it. Um, so I'm going to give that one a 7 out of 10. Um, I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Probably going to buy it when it comes on DVD. I, I, I thought it was a good movie. So Grave Encounters, another good movie to see for uh, October. Okay, the last and final film, I saved the best for last, is Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing and listen to what I'm telling you. If you have not seen the previews for this movie, don't watch them. Do not watch them, okay? Um, I would have gave this movie a maybe a 9 or a 10 because I, I freaking loved it. But, the one thing that really um, I didn't like about the film was when I watched the previews, it pretty much showed me every kill in the movie. So nothing was surprising. And that's like my favorite thing about a horror film is to be surprised, horrified. So because of that, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. But seriously, this could be the movie of the year for me. I mean, I love this movie. It's a crazy story about like these rednecks 
and um, these preppy kids, you know, go out into the middle of the woods and they see these rednecks and they automatically stereotype the rednecks as, you know, crazed redneck killers. No matter how nice these guys are and how much good they try to do, these people always see bad. <laughs> they're not, I guess they're not realizing what's actually happening, whatever, but, um, and crazy things happen and they're all getting killed and they're blaming it on these guys, but these guys have nothing to do with them getting killed. It's really funny. It's a fun movie. I, I'm going to I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say for Halloween, this is the movie for your Halloween party. The movie. You have to have this movie for your Halloween party. When it gets out on DVD, I think it comes out um, at the beginning of October. Grab it. I think these things are going to fly off the shelf because uh, awesome awesome flick. The characters were so good. Even has a little twist at the end. Um, so it, it, it was a really great, unique storyline with humor, gore. I mean, it had it all. Tucker and Dale versus Evil. I promise you. Go out and buy it when it comes out. You will not regret it. Awesome movie. Fun movie to watch with friends. Well, I think that's it. That's all the reviews from Creepy Girl for today. So, pleasant screams and see you soon with more reviews.